Good morning and hello from Amsterdam. Welcome back uh, for another video. Uh, start off with uh, uh, giving a shout out to a new subscriber, Buzz from retirement, Buzz's Retirement Garage. Uh, uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, just say, hey Buzz, love your stuff. You know, hope you like this video. Uh, anybody who's interested in checking out Buzz's channel, I'll put a, a link to it here in the description so you can see it. Buzz's channel is about you know, getting out and, uh, and what it's like to be a, a retiring on Social Security only. So if you're interested in that, give it a shot. Check out his channel. It's really pretty good. All right. So now, what are we doing here? I'm going to take the OM5 along with the 12 millimeter uh, F2, and we're going to go out over the next six, seven days and take images and videos and share, you know, that information with you. You know, let you take a look at it, see how you can do with one lens on a camera, a very small kit. You know, just to see how it goes. There's no tripod, no nothing, so everything's handheld, just like this video here. All right, all with the OM5. You know, and we'll, we'll give you a chance to see what it's like to be in Europe, also to, to do it with a small kit. At the end, we'll get back together, and I will share my views, uh, one, on Gate One, uh, which is the, or Gate One Travel, which is the organization I'm traveling with this week, you know, as well as, you know, my views on how, how it worked uh, using the OM5 in just a single lens. You know, so... Thanks for coming along, everybody. Uh, we'll get out in the city today, and then later today we'll sail to Amtorp. You know, and we'll see what it looks like. Here, I'll turn the camera around so you can kind of get a feel for what it's like, because we're in, we're literally right in the heart of Amsterdam. You can see the the river here. Over here is the main central tra sta train station. You know, we're just a short walk away from the Anne Frank House the red light district, Dam Square, you name it. Everything that's really important in this city is really fairly close. If you've never been to Amsterdam, it's a great, easily walkable city, great place to visit with great food, just great atmosphere, you know, just a good place to be. I've been here a few times, really enjoyed it every single time, and I'm sure I'll enjoy it on this one, you know. So thanks for coming along, everybody. Uh, we'll see what, how things turn out. I'll put everything in, as I said, and uh, see you when we get to the end.
this is the beginning of day four, I think it is, of, the, of my trip. Uh, we are in our dock at the little village of Willemstad here in the Netherlands. I'm going to spend a few hours there this morning. All right, and then uh, later this afternoon, uh, stop at uh, Kinderdijk, look at some windmills. So I'll get out and obviously capture images there and whatever I capture you'll, you'll see in here uh, right after, you know, this little segment of video. But, you know, so how are things going so far? The weather's been actually been sunny and warm until this morning. I mean, we've had days you know, up as high as 75 degrees you know, with blue skies. That's really unusual. All right, this morning now, it's more what I expected. All right, you can see, got a hat on, a little bit warmer coat on, it's breezy, it's overcast. It's supposed to only be, I think, a high of 54. Right now, the temperature's probably, I don't know, I'm gonna say 45, maybe. All right, a little breezy. All right, not too bad, but certainly, you know, could be better. Uh, so how are things going with the, you know, with the OM5 and the 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter F2? Pretty good. I think I've captured a couple decent images. Of course, we'll find out once I get a chance to add to everything at home. But you know, you know, light, easy to carry, great to get out with. No issues or any of that. You know, several people here on the on this trip have their, you know, DSLRs or their mirrorless full frame cameras. Some people are carrying. You know, um, you know, you know, different op different options that are out there. But nobody's using micro four thirds. I seem to be the only one. You know, but I don't really care. Just enjoy, you know, taking something like this out that's small and easy to take along. So we'll get out in Willemstad today, capture some images, and uh, see how it turns out. I was really hoping for a good sunrise this morning, maybe a little bit of color in the sky. But as you can see, we're not really getting much of anything because it's so cloudy but still going to capture a couple images here before I go down and have breakfast you know and uh, we'll see if we get lucky enough to get anything that looks pretty good today so uh, thanks for coming along you know so we'll see what else we can get
right, so this morning we're at, uh, I think it's pronounced Kakenhof Gardens uh, here in the Netherlands. Um, I guess to put it mildly, pretty much overwhelmed. I mean, I've never seen so many flowers. This place is gorgeous. Supposedly there's seven million flowers. They're here for eight weeks. At the end of eight weeks, they dig up the bulbs and plant new ones for uh, eight weeks from the following year. <laughs> That's what they do. It's pretty much overwhelming. I'll throw in some of the pictures uh, here that uh, I've taken today. You'll be uh, pretty much amazed. Thanks for coming along. thing I'm certain of as I continue to walk around this uh, garden today is <laughs> my pictures are never going to do it justice. Uh, there's just no way to, to capture it, you know, but uh, I will say this, if you get an opportunity to come here, you know, in, in the spring, all right, basically from late March into May, the eight week period that this place is open, t don't pass it up. I mean, this is hard to believe. It really is that spectacular. All right, so I thought I would get on here and uh, share some insight here uh, near the end of my seven day journey here in Europe on a Gate One River cruise. And so first thing I share is Gate One. You know, is Gate One worth it? Is Gate One a good option? The answer to that is yes, they are, okay? Are they Viking or are they Avalon or are they Yama? No, they're Gate One. You know, they're a good value option, all right? That that uh, quite frankly does a good job, all right? Is it perfect? Nothing's ever perfect, so the answer is no, but it, it, they do a good job. All right, something I would de definitely recommend, you know, something that I would probably do again, all right? Now, the OM5 with the 12 millimeter F2 is a travel setup. All right, I'm not gonna kid you, all right? I'm, not, I'm finding on this trip that I am not a lover of, you know, fixed lenses i think i'm more of a zoom guy that doesn't mean it's bad but that's just that seems to be my style but does this set up or does this kit work the answer is yes it works pretty well okay um i've done pretty well with it i think uh, you've been seeing the images as we've gone through the video here uh, i haven't seen a lot of them yet because i haven't been able to do anything with them because i didn't bring anything along to edit them so you, I'll, I'll edit these all right as i when i get home and we'll get a chance to see them now when you're on a river cruise, sometimes you get lucky and you get to, you know, partake in unexpected little things. As I'm up here walking around the top of the boat, you know, while we're sitting here in port, I get a chance to see a boat coming in here. I'll turn this around so you can see. All right, so you get a boat coming in. All right, a couple sailboats going out. All right, over here's the, you know, the town. You know, in a little port that they have there, you know, which we were there earlier today doing a tour, you know, and went through a museum. You know, so these are pretty, you know, interesting places to go visit. They really are. You really get a chance to, you know, to, to see them. And you basically float up to your hotel so you don't have to move. You know, the boat moves for you and you just get a chance to walk out. But, all right, back to the OM5. The OM5 is... is, is this is definitely a good setup, but from my standpoint, I think I'm a Zoom guy. You know, if I'm going to do this in the future, I'd probably use Zooms. You know, I did find the 12 millimeter, which 24 full frame equivalent, to be fine. All right, for me, it worked okay. Uh, there was only a couple instances where I felt I needed wider. In those cases, I tried to do some panoramas and and things like that. On this trip, I used, you know, normal settings. I used everything from manual. I used 
you know, program mode. I use <laughs> aperture mode. I use shutter priority. I even tried some of the scene modes, which, you know, putting those in as we go through, if something turned out well, I threw it in here so you could see it. But, you know, it's definitely not my setup, all right, with a fixed lens. I'd rather have the zoom, but for some it may work well. It's nice, it's easy, it's light, it, it does what you need it to do. It certainly makes it simple to get around. Now, I'm the only person, again, on this trip shooting micro four thirds. Most others are using APS-C or they're using full frame. There are several, all right, they're doing different things. But, you know, just because I'm the only one doesn't make it bad, doesn't mean it's not good. I think I get pretty decent images with it and I'm pretty happy. All right, so you be the judge, you know, leave me some comments and tell me what you think. All right, really interested in that. You know, but uh, thanks for your time. I'll end the video here. All right, and just say remember to like, comment, subscribe. You know, thanks for coming along for the journey. Until we see you again, stay safe.